Trikon Asana. This asana is called so because while doing this, our body parts, namely the hands, legs, and backbone, form the shape of a triangle. To perform this asana, please stand straight. Spread your legs at a comfortable distance from each other. Slowly raise your arms so that they are in line with both your shoulders. Please ensure that your arms are straight and leveled, not above or below, nor in front or behind each other. Keeping your left foot straight, turn your right foot at an angle of 90 degrees. Take a long, deep breath. And now, exhaling, slowly bend your body towards the right from your hip. Try to touch your right ankle with your right hand and raise your left hand up towards the sky. It is possible that some of you may find it difficult to touch your ankle. In that case, extend your hand as far as you comfortably can. Stay relaxed in this position for a while. Breathe in normally and breathe out. Feel your whole body relaxing. Inhaling slowly, come back to your upright position and straighten your right foot. Next, turn your left foot out and repeat the same asana on your left side. This asana is very simple and useful. It strengthens the back muscles and prevents the occurrence of flat foot. It makes your thighs, shoulders, chest and spinal cord strong and flexible. But if you have an injury to your neck or back or are suffering from slip disc or sciatica, please do not perform this asana. When you take in long deep breaths and exhale, it helps you to remain mentally calm, relaxed and tension free. Nadi Shodan Nadi Shodan is also known as alternate nostril breath regulation. The main characteristic feature of this form of yogic practice is alternate breathing through left and right nostrils without or with retention of breath. To do Nadi Shodan, you have to sit down in the Sukhasana posture, which is a meditative posture. Instead of Sukhasana, Nadi Shodan can also be performed in any other meditative postures like Padmasana, Swastikasana, or Vajrasana. Those who are unable to sit on the floor can perform it while sitting in a chair. While sitting in Sukhasana posture, ensure that your spine is straight, head upright, both your palms are on knees and eyes closed. To keep your spine straight, you may also take the support of a wall to sit upright. Now, take some deep breaths and keep your body in relaxed position. Before starting the practice of Nadi Shodhan, let us first identify the fingers of your hand. Thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. Now, to bring your left palm into Dhyana Mudra, touch your thumb and index finger to make a circular shape and keep your middle, ring, and little finger open. Now, to bring your right hand in the Nasagra Mudra, fold and close the middle and index finger. Keep the thumb, ring, and little finger open. Now place the thumb of your right palm, which is in a Nasagra Mudra, on your right nostril, and breathe in from the left nostril. Then close the left nostril with the ring and little finger. Open the right nostril and breathe out. Now breathe in through your right nostril. Then close it with your thumb and breathe out through your left nostril. This is one cycle of Nadi Shodan Pranayama or alternate nostril breath regulation. Repeat this cycle five times. In the beginning, 
you will probably take the same amount of time to breathe in as you will to breathe out. However, it is important to practice breathing out very slowly and in such a way that you take double the amount of time breathing out as you take to breathe in. Keep your breathing deep, slow, steady and regulated in the same ratio. The main purpose of Nadi Shodhan Pranayama is to purify the nadis, which are principal channels to carry energy, thus nourishing the whole body. This is very beneficial for cardiac patients. Nadi Shodhan helps to elevate cough-related ailments. Regular practice of Nadi Shodhan Pranayama increases tranquility and concentration. It also reduces stress and anxiety levels to bring you peace of mind. Tadasana Tad means palm tree. While doing this asana, your body posture becomes tall and strong like the palm tree. To do this asana, first stand straight with both your feet at a distance of two inches from one another. Now, lift your hands till your shoulders. Keep your palms facing each other, and then interlock your fingers together. Now, slowly bend your wrists outwards. Now, taking a deep breath in, slowly lift your arms up above your head while keeping them in line with the shoulders. Keep your body steady in this position. Now, slowly raise your heels up from the ground and stand on your toes. Without losing your balance or moving your feet, stay in this position for about 10 to 15 seconds. Breathe in and out normally. Stay still in this posture. It might be a little hard to maintain your balance in the beginning. To help achieve this, you can try focusing at a single point in front of your eyes. Doing this asana regularly will help you improve your balance. This asana helps in getting rid of congestion in your spinal nerves. It helps to improve the posture of the body and also strengthens your thighs, knees, and heels. You should refrain from doing this asana if you are suffering from any heart disease, vertigo, or varicose veins. After staying in this position for 10 to 15 seconds, slowly let your breath out and lower your heels back to the ground. Slowly release the interlock of the fingers, bring the arms down, and come back to the standing position. Practicing this asana regularly brings stability to your body and mind. Vrikshasana. Vriksha means tree. This asana makes the posture of your body steady, straight and strong, like a tree. Stand straight with your feet at a distance of two inches from one another. Focus on a point in front of your eyes, and then let a long deep breath out. Carefully and slowly bend your right leg, raise it up and rest its sole on the inner thigh of your left leg. Take extra care that your heel is touching the perineum area. After steadying yourself in this posture, take a deep breath in and slowly raise your arms over your head and join your hands so that your palms touch each other in a namaskar pose. Breathe in and out normally in this position for about 10 to 30 seconds. This asana increases the balance, steadiness, and alertness of the brain. Vriksh asana also improves your neuromuscular coordination. This asana also strengthens the muscles of the legs. People suffering from arthritis, vertigo, or obesity should refrain from doing this asana. Breathe out slowly after remaining in vrikshasana pose for about 10 to 30 seconds and then bring your arms down slowly. Now, lower your right leg to the ground and stand straight. Take in a deep breath and then exhale. And now, 
Repeat the whole process with your left leg. Vrikshasana makes your body healthy along with your mind. This asana increases the alertness of your brain and helps you to complete your work with increased focus. Badrasana. Badrasana is also known as the auspicious pose in English. This asana helps to make both your body and mind firm. To do Badrasana, sit down erect on the floor with your legs stretched out in front of you. Keep your hands beside the hips and palms resting on the floor. Be careful that the weight of your body is not fully on your hands. This pose is called Dandasana. From this posture of Dandasana, slowly release your breath while joining the soles of your feet together. Now, lock your hands with the toes of your feet and slowly bring the heels of your feet as close to your perineum region as possible. In doing so, if your thighs are not touching the ground, then you can support them by keeping a pillow underneath them. Badrasana is Viramasana, the state of sitting in one position for a long time. Close your eyes in this position and breathe in and out normally. Badrasana keeps the body firm and the mind steady. It strengthens the bones of the knees and hip joints and also reduces pain in the knees. It also helps to remove any kind of stress in the stomach. It also provides relief during the monthly menstrual cycles in women and other problems. It is also beneficial for pregnant women. People suffering from acute arthritis and sciatica should refrain from doing this asana. Keep sitting still in this position for some time. Open your eyes. While slowly taking your breath in, stretch your legs to the front. Stay relaxed in the Dandasana pose for some time. Badrasana affects the innermost organs of your body and makes your entire body healthy. Ard Chakra Asana. While doing this asana, the posture of your body is like a half chakra or like a half wheel posture. To do this asana, first stand in a straight position and place both your hands on the waist to give it support. Take care that all your fingers are joined together, which then will give proper support to your waist. Now, take a deep breath in and slowly bend backwards from your lumbar region. Bend your head backwards to the point till it stretches your neck muscles. Breathe in and out normally. Stay still in this posture for about 10 to 30 seconds. Ardha Chakra Asana makes your spine flexible. It strengthens your spinal nerves. This asana improves your ability to breathe. It also reduces pain caused by cervical spondylitis. People suffering from hypertension or high BP should be careful when bending backwards. You should refrain from doing this asana if suffering from vertigo. After staying in this posture for 10 to 30 seconds, take a deep breath in and slowly straighten your spine while still supporting it at the waist with your hands. Now bring your head back into normal position while breathing out slowly and relax. You can rid yourself of incessant back and neck pain forever by performing this asana regularly. Bhujang Asana Bhujang means cobra. While doing this asana, the upper portion of your body is raised above the ground in the same way a cobra raises its hood. To do this asana, you will first have to come in the Makarasana pose, for which you will have to lie down on the floor on your stomach and keep your legs at a distance from one another. Rest your head on your palms and relax your body. Now moving on from the Makarasana, 
Bring your legs close to one another and stretch your arms in front of you. Rest your head on the floor. Now place your palms close to your chest and raise your elbows. While taking a deep breath in, raise your chin up and lift your body up from the floor till your navel area. Take care that your elbow is in line with your body and your legs are stretched in such a way that you do not feel too much pressure on your waist. Breathing in and out normally, stay in this posture for about 15 to 30 seconds. Practicing this asana regularly gives relief from incessant back pain. Bhujang asana reduces stomach fat and provides relief from constipation. This asana also helps in providing relief from breathing-related problems. Patients suffering from hernia or ulcer and pregnant women should refrain from doing this asana. If you have just had a stomach operation, then you should refrain from doing this asana for at least three months. Staying in this posture for 15 to 30 seconds, exhale slowly and bring the upper portion of your body down to the floor. Stretch your hands in front of you and come back again in the Makarasana pose and relax your body. Bhujang asana is very useful in relieving tension. Practicing this asana regularly helps in keeping both your body and mind healthy. Pawan Muktasana Pawan means wind in English and mukt means freeing or releasing. This asana helps in removing wind or flatulence from your intestines. Lie down on the floor with both your legs and hands spread at a comfortable distance from your body. Ensure that the palms of your hands are facing upwards. This asana is called Shavasana. Now moving forward from Shavasana, join both your legs Bend your knees and take your thighs close to your chest. Interlock the fingers of both your hands together and hold them below your knees near to your shins. Now while breathing out, lift your head and shoulders till your chin is touching your knees. While doing this, you will experience stretching in your lumbar region. Keep your eyes closed and focus your thoughts completely on your lumbar region. While breathing in and out normally, stay relaxed in this pose for some time. Pawanmuktasana gives you relief from flatulence and decreases the bloating sensation in the abdomen. This asana cures you from constipation and improves the digestive process. Pawan Muktasana tones up your spinal nerves. This asana strengthens the muscles of your back. Pawan Muktasana offers deep internal pressure, massage and stretching of the highly complicated network of muscles, ligaments and tendons in your pelvis and lumbar regions. Refrain from doing this asana if you are suffering from back pain or stomach injuries. Patients suffering from hernia and sciatica should refrain from doing this asana. Pregnant women should avoid doing this asana. After staying in this pose for some time, while breathing in, rest your head and shoulders on the floor again. Now, while breathing out, straighten your legs Keep them on the floor, come back to the Shavasana pose, and relax. Pawan Muktasana improves your blood circulation while energizing your nerves and increases the efficiency of your internal organs. Setu Bandhasana Setu Band means formation of a bridge. In this asana, the posture of your body becomes like a bridge. This asana is also called Chatushpadasana. Lie down on your back with a comfortable distance between your legs. 
place both your palms on the floor in such a way that they are facing towards the sky. This asana is called Shavasana. Now, join both your legs. Bend your legs and bring them close to your pelvis. Hold your ankles firmly with your hands. Now breathe in slowly and lift your pelvis as much as possible so that your body resembles the shape of a bridge. Ensure that your head and shoulders are on the floor and knees and legs are in one line. In this final pose, you can give support to your waist with your hands if you want. Stay in this pose for 10 to 30 seconds while breathing in and out normally. Setu Bandhasana strengthens the muscles of your lower back. This asana stretches the internal organs of your stomach to improve the digestive process and giving you relief from constipation. Setu Bandhasana helps improve cardiac functions. If you are suffering from ulcer or hernia, then you should refrain from doing this asana. Pregnant women should do this asana with utmost care and under expert supervision. After staying in the Setu Bandhasana pose for 10 to 30 seconds, while releasing your breath slowly, bring your pelvis down to the floor. Release your ankles and come back and relax in the Shavasana pose. Doing Setu Bandhasana regularly will help you to overcome depression and anxiety. Padha Hastasana In Sanskrit, Padha means foot and Hasta means hands. That's why Padha Hastasana means the Yogasana where you touch your feet with your hands. This asana is also known as Uttanasana. To do this asana, first, stand straight with your feet at a distance of two inches from one another. Now, taking a long, deep breath in, raise both your hands straight in front of you and take them up over your head. Stretch your body up as much as you can from your waist. While breathing out slowly in this posture, Bend your body forward to the point where both your palms can touch the floor. When bending down, take care that your arms and head both go down at the same time. Remember, if you have a problem of stiffness in your back, then bend only up to the point where you don't experience any strain or difficulty. Breathing in and out normally, stay in this posture for about 10 to 30 seconds. Padahastasana makes your backbone flexible. This asana gives relief from problems which arise during the female menstrual cycle. Refrain from doing this asana if you are suffering from any heart disease, back or backbone related problems, vertigo or swelling in the stomach. Patients suffering from hernia, high myopia, ulcer, and pregnant women should also refrain from doing this asana. Staying in this posture for 10 to 30 seconds, take a deep breath in, come up slowly to a standing position. Take care that your arms and head come up at the same time. While doing this, both your hands should be stretched up above your head. While exhaling slowly, bring both your hands down and relax. Practicing this asana regularly improves your digestive process and also gives relief from constipation. Shalab asana. Shalab is a Sanskrit word which in English means a locust or a grasshopper. To do this asana, you have to first come in the pose of makar asana. And to do this, you have to lie down on the floor on your stomach and keep your legs at a distance from each other. Keep your head on your palms and relax your body. Now, moving on from the Makar Asana pose, bring both your legs together. Now, position both your hands close to your body in such a position that your palms point towards the sky and your chin rests on the floor. 
Taking a deep breath, lift your legs up from the ground with the help of only your pelvic muscles. Lift your legs up only to the point till you can without bending your knees. You can take the support of your arms to keep your legs in the air. This will help you keep your body steady. Now stay relaxed in this pose for about 10 to 20 seconds, breathing in and breathing out normally. This asana helps in getting relief from sciatica and pain in the lower back. It also develops the muscles around the pelvis and kidneys. Doing this asana regularly helps reduce the fat on the thighs and also helps in reducing one's weight. This asana is beneficial for our stomach and is also known to help in the digestive process. Pregnant women and people suffering from peptic ulcer, hernia, high BP, and heart disease should avoid doing this asana. If you are suffering from incessant pain in your lower back, then you should take precautions while doing this asana. After remaining in this pose for about 10 to 20 seconds, bring your feet down to the ground while breathing out slowly. After returning to the Makar Asana pose, relax your body. This asana helps you to relax both your mind and body. Shashank Asana In Sanskrit, Shashank means rabbit. In this asana, the posture of your body becomes like a rabbit. To do this asana, first sit in the Vajrasana pose. Keep your hands on your knees. Now spread both your knees apart in a comfortable position as far as possible. Make sure that the toes of your feet are touching each other. Now keep your palms in between your knees. Now, while breathing out, stretch your palms forward and bend your body. Ascertain that your hands are parallel to each other and your chin is on the ground. Keep looking in the front and remain relaxed in this pose for some time. Breathe in and out normally. Shashank Asana gives relief from constipation and improves the digestive process. This asana also gives you relief from back pain. Patients suffering from high blood pressure should take precautions while doing this asana. Patients suffering from arthritis of the knees should perform this asana with care or avoid doing it. Avoid doing this asana if you are suffering from excessive pain in your back. After staying in this posture for some time, while breathing in, come up and straighten your body. Now, while breathing out, come back in the Vajrasana pose. Now, while bending your body in one direction, stretch out both your legs in front of you and come into the Vishramasana pose and relax. Practicing Shashank Asana regularly helps in decreasing your tension and anger. Vajrasana. This asana should be performed in a meditating pose. While performing this asana in a meditating pose, one should keep their eyes closed. To perform this asana, you should first come into the Dandasana pose. For this, you have to sit with both your legs stretched in front of you. Keep your hands close to your pelvis. Be careful that the weight of your body is not on your hands. Now bend your right leg and place it under your right buttock. Then bend your left leg and place it under your left buttock. Make sure that your thighs are close together and your toes are touching each other. Now keep your hands on your knees. Make sure that your chin is parallel to the ground. Keep your spine straight and keep your body relaxed. Now breathe in and breathe out normally and stay relaxed in this posture for some time. 
Bhadrasana makes the muscles of your thighs and calves strong. This asana improves the digestive process. Vajrasana makes the nerves of your legs strong. This asana gives relief from the pain in your lower back and sciatica. Vajrasana gives firmness to your spine and helps to keep it straight. Please avoid doing this asana if you are experiencing pain in your knees or have injured your ankles. People suffering from piles should avoid doing this asana. After staying in the Vajrasana pose for some time, bend your body to the right while straightening your left leg and then bend your body to the left while straightening your right leg. Now, relax in the Dandasana pose. Doing Vajrasana regularly strengthens your body and improves your concentration. It also gives you peace of mind and rids it of stress and pressure. Ustra Asana Ustra is a Sanskrit word which means camel in English. In this asana, the posture of your body becomes like the hump on the camel's back. To do this asana, you have to first sit in the Vajrasana pose. Place the hands on the knees, keeping the body in a straight line from the head to the feet. Now we will slowly go to Ardha Ustrasana pose from the Vajrasana pose. To do this, first slowly stand straight on your knees. Now place both your hands on the hips with your fingers pointing to the ground. Take care that your elbow and shoulder are parallel to each other and your thighs are at an angle of 90 degrees to the ground. While breathing in slowly, bend backwards from the base of your spine. Bend the head backwards to the point till it stretches your neck muscles. This asana is called Ardha Ustrasana. Now we will move from Ardha Ustrasana to Ustrasana for which you will have to slowly exhale and catch your right heel with your right hand and your left heel with your left hand. Take care that you do not jerk your neck while bending back. Breathing in and out normally, stay still in this posture for about 10 to 30 seconds. Ustrasana strengthens the muscles of your back and neck. This asana improves the blood circulation in your head and chest. Performing this asana also improves your eyesight. It helps in reducing the fat on your stomach and hips. Refrain from doing this asana if you are suffering from hernia, vertigo, or arthritis. Patients suffering from heart diseases and high blood pressure should refrain from doing this asana. If you have a stomach injury or if you are pregnant, refrain from doing this asana. Stay in this posture for about 10 to 30 seconds. While taking a long deep breath in, slowly lift your neck to the normal position. Straighten your back and come back to sitting on your heels in the Vajrasana pose. Breathing in and out normally, stay still in this posture. Practicing Ustrasana regularly will rid you of constipation, which is also responsible for many other ailments in your body, which in turn will help you to lead a healthier life. Vakrasana Vakra means twist or bent. To do this asana, sit down with both your legs stretched out in front of you. Keep your hands next to your pelvis. Be careful that the weight of your body is not on your hands. This pose is called Dandasana. Now bend your right leg and place the foot next to the knee of your left leg. Now take your left hand across your right knee and place the palm next to your right foot. While slowly breathing out, Turn your right hand back and twist your body and head towards the right. Make sure that your back is straight. 
breathing in and out normally. Stay still in this posture for about 10 to 30 seconds. Vakrasana makes your spine flexible. This asana stimulates the pancreas and helps in controlling diabetes. Vakrasana is also beneficial for your liver. Vakrasana provides relief from constipation and also helps improve the digestive process. Avoid doing this asana if you are suffering from extreme back pain or problems related to the spine or slip disc. Also avoid doing this asana if your stomach has been operated on. Women should avoid doing this asana during their monthly menstrual cycle. After staying in this posture for about 10 to 30 seconds, while letting your breath out, straighten your head, body, and legs, and come back to the Dandasana pose. Now, place both your hands behind and relax your body in the Vishramasana pose. After resting for some time, repeat the sequence of steps on the other side. Doing Vakrasana regularly decreases the fat in your stomach and has a positive effect on the internal organs of your body and helps you live a life free of constipation. Dhyana or meditation is an act of continuous contemplation. Dhyana mainly involves three things. Unawareness of external objects and internal state unbroken awareness of the object on which the mind is fixed and effortless prevention of other mental modifications. Dhyana helps you to find peace and internal harmony. Sit down in the Padmasana posture, which is a meditative posture. Apart from Padmasana, Dhyana can be done in any other meditative postures like Sukhasana or Vajrasana. Those who cannot sit on the floor can practice dhyana while sitting in chair. While sitting in the Padmasana posture, ensure that your spine is comfortably straight. Arms and shoulders are relaxed. Head is upright and eyes are closed. You may take the support of the wall to keep your spine straight. Now, to get your hands in dhyana mudra, Ensure the fingers are touching one another in a relaxed manner. Now bring your left palm near your lower abdomen region and let it rest on your left leg. Next, rest your right palm above your left palm. This is called Dhyana Mudra. Ensure that the whole body is relaxed and comfortable. Draw awareness to your body from head to toes. This will help you to draw the attention inwards and away from external distractions. Now, become aware of your breathing, inhalation and exhalation. Make it deep and slow. Continue this process till the breathing becomes minimal. Without concentrating on anything in particular, maintain a mild focus between the eyebrows and continue to be conscious of your breathing. Now, watch your thoughts. Try to stay with positive and pleasurable thoughts. As you progress in dhyana, your mind will start calming down and your mental activity will reduce and thoughts may dissolve completely. You will feel totally relaxed, contemplated, and stress-free. Dhyana, or meditation, is the most important and an integral part of yoga practice. Breathing in and out normally, try to sit in this state as long as possible. Dhyana rejuvenates both body and mind, helps to improve concentration, and aids behavioral modification. Dhyana keeps you away from negative emotions. It helps to eliminate anger, fear, depression, anxiety, and develop positive emotions. It helps you attain inner peace. 
it increases one's memory, willpower, and clarity of thought. It helps you become more positive and productive. Dhyana improves the quality of your life. Regular practice of Dhyana keeps your mind calm and quiet and leads you towards self-realization, which is the goal of yoga practice.